Hi everyone, this is Barbara Scarlett here with your latest update on the Niagara real estate market. Today, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the slow shift in sales. Over the past seven days, there has been virtually no change in the amount of activity that has been happening in our market here in Niagara. We had the same sales happen as the week before in the region, about 100. In Fort Erie, we had the same number, five, both weeks in a row. And the inventory is remaining about the same, with the exception of one listing. And I find it interesting because in my market update, which I'm about to share with you, you're going to hear the RBC report about how the sales are increasing over the past two months consecutively, but that's just not the case here in Niagara. But I say this with great enthusiasm because we know it's coming. We know it's coming. The market is on the verge of shifting and we know this, and yet buyers are still not reacting as they should be. So I just wanna share this with you. I post it on my Google page every week so you know exactly in the marketplace what's selling, how many houses are coming on the market. And anyway, check it out. As interest rates have continued to soften, we continue to watch to see how buyers are reacting through home sale activity. With the rate cuts still looming, yet another one coming up at the end of October, there has been a noticeable increase in market activity according to a recent RBC economic report, which was published earlier this week where they said that home sales in, in September rose by 1.9% from October, marking it the second month in a row that an increase in sales activities took place. While that might be the case on the national level, here in Niagara, it is not the case. In previous videos, I've shared with you the stats from our board, known as the ITSO board, where they demonstrate that sales across the Niagara region, specifically in Fort Erie area, are, well, they've been on a steady de decline since May. That decline has been month over month up until the end of September. Now, what appears clear from the report is that these lower interest rates are sparking interest and giving potential buyers breathing room, which is translating into more activity on the national level. But it, not, it has not yet penetrated here in the Niagara region. The report goes on to say that the inventory side has surged, bringing more listings to the market since July. More properties have come on the market across Canada in the past three month period. In fact, those numbers are actually higher than pre-pandemic levels, according to the report. Now, this increase in inventory is helping rebalance the market for sure. It's giving both buyers and sellers more opportunities to negotiate and find the perfect match. This inventory surge is in fact the situation here in Niagara, where we have seen inventory growing on a steady basis since December of 2023. However, we are anything but a balanced market here in Fort Erie. We still have 10 months worth of inventory. We are 100% a buyer's market. The Niagara region as a whole is also a buyer's market, sitting around six months worth of inventory there, which is a little healthier than say here in Fort Erie. So based on what this RBC report is suggesting, the current state of the market here in Niagara, this could be a signal to buyers that the time is now to start considering your purchase. Rates are dropping, the inventory is high, it's the perfect buyer scenario. This report also suggested that we may be nearing the period of stabilized prices. However, more significant price appreciation could still be on the horizon. As the Bank of Canada moves further into their rate cutting cycle this year and into next, we might see firmer upward trends in home values. So if you're a buyer, now could be an excellent time to explore your options before prices start to pick up. And like we saw a few years ago, buyers started lining up like cattle, I just said, to buy properties. Don't find yourself in a bidding war situation. You have opportunities right now to negotiate fairly. Well, that's it for today, this weekend. I will be hosting an open house at 118 West. It's that condo that's overlooking the canal and Lake Erie. It's surrounded by great shops, great restaurants. The sellers have just reduced their price by 
$20,000. As always, if you have any questions or you just want to discuss the trends that I've been talking about here in Niagara, make sure you reach out to me. Have a great day, a great weekend, and happy house hunting.